So today I'm going to talk about investment properties and second homes and some of the benefits that you may not be considering when you're looking at real estate in Crested Butte. So everybody's really focused on the income that a property can generate for you. So it's either a short-term rental or a long-term rental. And you kind of get wrapped up in seeing those numbers of uh, rental history. So how much money is that condo making every month? And a lot of the properties around here, they're not going to cash flow for you. They're going to maybe break even, but it really depends on your expenses, how often it's rented, the HOA fees, how big your mortgage payment is, and things like that. So the two things that are really important to understand and to learn about, and let me just preface this by saying I'm not an accountant, so please talk to your accountant about this, but with taxes on an investment property or second home, you can actually deduct the interest of your mortgage plus depreciation from your total income on your taxes. So I think mortgage interest deduction is pretty self-explanatory, but let's talk about depreciation. So depreciation is 3.63% of the value of the property. So let's say you purchase a $500,000 property, the total tax savings with depreciation that you can have is almost $18,000. So if you're looking at these properties and you're seeing that it's just gonna break even, meaning you're only gonna generate enough income to cover your expenses, you're still gonna have a significant tax benefits with this investment property. So change your mindset a little bit on the way you look at investment properties and remember that income can be in the form of tax savings. So if you have any questions about second home ownership and investment properties in Crested Butte, give me a call today.